We've all seen those amazing custom painted bikes online and Manon even created and painted her very own one, which to be fair, did look pretty incredible. But something I've always wanted to do is the complete opposite. I wanted to get an aluminium frame or aluminum if you're American, strip all the paint off it and then sand and polish it to a mirrored shine because I think it looks absolutely epic. And today is the day I'm gonna get to do it. So let's get straight to it. So some of the stuff that we're gonna to use today, we've got our paint stripper, so we can paint that onto the bike, leave it to soak in, and hopefully that's gonna remove the majority of the paint rather than painstakingly sanding and rubbing it all off. I've got a little wire wheel here that I can put into a drill to get some of the smaller, tougher bits off of the frame. I've got a scraper, scrape some paint off. I've got a brush so we can brush our paint stripper onto the frame, dab it everywhere so it works. Obviously, safety first with a lot of these chemicals and things. So we've got a mask, we've also got some gloves over here. And then to make life super easy, we've got an electric orbital sander and polisher. So I can just change the different ends that are on here, put different grades of sandpaper on, sand it all down, and then we can polish it to our mirrored shine. So first thing we're gonna need to do is get the frame stripped down. So we've only got the bare frame, none of the components left on there. You don't really need to know how to do that, so we'll work a little bit of magic. Three, two, one. That was easy. Now you may well recognize this frame from the cheap gravel bike challenge that we did over on GCN, a bike that nearly carried me to victory if uh, Connor hadn't basically just made the rules up as we go. So it's a very capable bike, but I'm intrigued to see how we can uh, get it looking when we get the paint stripped down. So our first job is gonna be give the bike a quick little wash because it's still a bit dirty and dusty, clean it up, and then we can put our paint stripper on and leave this to work its magic, which I think needs about an hour to soak in and hopefully that'll remove a lot of the paint. Nice, let's get to it. Before I get started with putting the paint stripper onto the frame, something I wanted to do is just weigh it before. Not that I'm actually concerned on the weight of this frame, because it's not about a super light frame. But what I do want to know is by taking the paint off, sanding it all down, are we going to save any weight off the frame? So I'll have to find out. But at the moment, it is 1,638 grams. God, that's pretty heavy for a frame, isn't it? So uh, I'm going to get it zip tied up onto the bike stands. I'm going to put my mask on, and then I'm going to use the paintbrush to dab the paint stripper all over the frame and hopefully leave it to work its magic. While I wait for the paint stripper to work its magic, let me give you a quick explainer to what sanding the frame is actually achieving. By sanding the frame, I'm smoothing the surface on an almost microscopic level to get rid of surface imperfections. Super close up, this is what the surface would look like, all rough and bumpy. Every time I sand it and then change to a finer or smoother sandpaper, the surface also becomes smoother. This will give the frame its distinctive silver and chrome mirrored shine. But remember, it will be susceptible to oxidization over time, and especially if left damp and dirty, which is gonna cause the frame to look dull. To combat this, you could lacquer the frame when you're finished, or just give it a polish up now and again. Right, I've given the paint stripper a couple of hours to work its magic. It kind of has, there's lots of areas around the frame where the paint started to blister up and literally just peel away from the aluminium, which is pretty cool. However, I am now getting too impatient to just sit here and wait for the rest of it to do its, uh, do its thing, do its magic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off of the zip tie, head over to the side, jet wash everything off so I can get all of the paint stripper off. Then hopefully the jet wash is also gonna get any loose remaining bits of paint off hopefully flake some of it off as well. Once I've got the frame all jet washed off, I can then go back inside and get any remaining bits of paint off of the frame. I can use the wire wheel and then start to shine it up, start the polishing process. And I guess we'll start with the roughest bit of sandpaper and see how we go.
quick little update of where we're at so far. As you can see, there is still quite a lot of black paint left on the frame. Now, I hadn't actually planned for this, and in my head, I kind of over-anticipated what I thought was going to be capable with the paint stripper. So basically, when I jet washed the bike off, in my head, I just thought all the paint was going to come off nice and easy, and I just smoothed this all down. But effectively, like most um, situations in life, I haven't planned ahead for that. So what I'm going to need to do is use the wire wheel, go over the entire frame, get as much of the loose paint, as much of the paint off as possible, and then I'm going to have to put the paint stripper on it again, leave it for another hour, and hopefully, because I will have roughed up all of the surface, the paint strip will get right into the paint and peel the rest of it off, like it has done on quite a lot of the frame already. So it's kind of, it kind of has worked, but not quite as good as I'd anticipated. So I better get on, I better start wire wheeling. Oh, I'm just sat down having a little rest. I'm not going to lie, it's been fairly hard work getting all of the paint off this frame back to a bare aluminium finish. But it's nearly there, ready to start the final sanding and polishing. But what I am going to do is I've got these lugs on the frame here for the cable guys. I don't need those, so I'm quite simply going to cut them off and smooth the finish back down so the frame's looking nice and slick. Let me give you a quick run through of where we're at, because as you can see, we've got no paint left on the frame. The guides for the cables, I've ground those off and I just need to sand those back to get them nice and smooth. But basically, I'm going to be doing more of the same thing over and over and over again. So it would probably make sense if I queue for a nice little montage and that'll set you up. We'll get some nice music going and hopefully by the end of our nice montage, we'll have a perfectly polished aluminium frame. Cue montage. I'm finally nearing the end of polishing this uh, aluminium frame. I'm on day two. It's taken that long, I had to have a shave. Um, but we're nearly there. It's starting to look very shiny. My arms are aching, my hands are aching, but the bike is starting to look pretty cool. So far, so good. It's just a bit of a slow and painful process, but um, luckily the uh, electric polisher is making light work of it, I guess. So it's going all right. I've moved from some Autosol metal polish, and then I've moved across to this pretty cool looking muck-off polish. So this is like metal polish, as it cleans, protects, and polishes metal surfaces. Who knew muck-off even made a product like that? It's pretty cool, eh? Hmm. Right, back to it, because still a few bits that need a bit more work. Oh. Right. See you in a bit. So there you have it, the finished article. I think you'll agree, it does look pretty cool, doesn't it? It's been about eight or nine hours work to get to this stage. Uh, I mean, sure, there are a couple of points on the frame here and there where there's a little bit of paint left or it's not quite as shiny and smooth as the other areas, but I'm really happy with my handiwork. And in fact, I think I might actually build this bike up into a bit of a town or sort of fixy commuter bike so maybe keep your eyes peeled on GCN Tech for if I get round to building this up. But as an added bonus, I had this on the scales a minute ago, and I've actually saved 
about 70 grams. So that's some of the paint that I've taken off. And then also those uh, sort of brake guide bosses that I've taken off the frame as well. So that's a nice little weight saving for, for no real money. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you've got any aluminium polishing tips of your own, get them in the comments section to try and help anyone out that's inspired to have a go themselves. It's a bit late to help me out now. I've sort of done all the hard work. But anyway, that's it for me. See you later.